if you want that mirror shine. Ah. Oh yeah, so ah. let's turn this into something. All right, all right. Drive shaft, she got the carrier bag. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon, or actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Head bolts, probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. Day seven tomorrow. <laughs> Both for us here at Robinson. And a JB hey. hook. Oh, that was nice of you. All right, love you, buddy. Your big wheel's under the truck. Why don't you pull it out? Okay. 19765 from Fleet Guard. That's for the ISX Cummins. Um, and you're going to need 11 gallons. Every state is probably going to be different. escaped the rain it's kind of over there by greenville it's not out here towards the coast we're about 70 miles from uh charleston Take a quick break for some refreshments a bathroom break and then get over there and pick up a load before the uh plant closes they close at 11 o'clock i thought it was 11:59, but it closed 11 sharp but it's only eight o'clock we have three hours and we only have 17 miles so i pray we can make it Let's get out here, check this trailer, and uh, get a little refreshed, and then get this last load in for the week. It's been a good week. I didn't work for two days. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, I didn't take any loads, so um, still, still ended up being pretty good. It's pretty packed here. What's this truck doing right here? Always packed at this exit. I guess because it's kind of the first big one when 95 merges with 26. The guy's got some kayaks. He just parked right there in the middle. Whatever. Um, yeah, it's the first big kind of... I don't know, the tire shop's finally open. They've got a tire shop back here to the right, and it has been closed as long as I can remember. And it is open now. I think I'm gonna do what that guy did and just park back over there. All right, let's do this. Well, we got one here, so somebody's working. He's going up to open it up, and then uh, we'll get in there. playing Rainbow gophers gophers brawl stars oh brawl stars the new one we just got yeah okay when you saw another video yeah all right well i'm gonna learn to polish today i'll open some boxes downstairs you want to go get food with me later yeah some lunch all right all right what are you playing oh nice i gotta get some uh cables lined up for this thing See? Hey. just haven't had time to do it and work 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 you get lunch with me later? Yeah. Alright. All right. Hey, I went through the car! What? Who got you? What are you doing? Oh, you're playing VR. Well, we got any, well, I don't want to have any clothes on. They failed me. They did? Yeah, he did. Oh, we leave this pillow on the ground because Tiki can't get on the couch without it. <laughs> I just did this for him, Mom. You do? Yeah. Okay. I can't Go to lunch with me later? Yeah. got some boxes over here. No, I think they're already on the table, dude. Uh, Shannon just texted me. See? Yeah? She said they're headed to the lake. I can't so they're taking the deal and then go to the island. So if you want to come in. Today? Yeah. Uh, See, I swear. Go to the lake? I don't know. Because we were had plans to do all that. We can go later. Because we're we can stay at the neighbor's house. The only reason we can't go to the lake, guys, is because uh, ours is rented. <laughs> Which is a good thing. But situations like this come up where you want to go and you can't. What is this? K-L-I-M, what is that? Yes, 
All right, well, let's see. But I want to try a little bit of this. So I think one of these boxes has something I've been waiting for. Oh, it does move. We need a new chandelier. Tiki, get on that. Get a new chandelier. Yep. So box number one came from Horse and Buggy Accessories. We're going to take the plunge, guys, and we're going to start the polish. If you can't open it, I'll help you, okay? But yes, we got some uh, stuff to go ahead and polish. Got a little wheel that goes on your thing. Uh, it's 140 bucks on, on eBay, so heck yeah. All right, let's look at the other ones. Let's hmm. check inside. Let's check inside? Yes. It's taped. Can we open it? Gentle on the wires. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's the plug. There's something else in there. Yeah. It's a three bar map sensor. Oh, yeah. It me measures your boost airflow going into the computer. So uh, Tim Gentry and Allison both said to do that. So they. Like Allison and, and uh, Jerry and them, and I know Tim knows Detroit's like crazy, but they also it's know a couple good. of the tricks. Like they knew it's the 1702 good. turbo also, and they said, hey, get it. And no, we don't put the wires back in the connector, but yeah, okay. Here. Now let's go ahead and uh, open up that big one. I have these two, so let's see what this one is. Oh, sweet. So $90, $95, guys. And you get the, I mean, they have a big old nice glad hand on there, like the electrical cord, so. You're gonna take the box? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't fit in You can't fit in it? Yeah, you're a little big. But yeah, nice uh, nice stuff for $95. I could have sworn that QT used to have them, but they don't anymore. Yes. Whoa, you're in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Kylan. Yeah, Kylan. They put the uh, thread seal on it and everything, so sweet. And those are some nice glad hands. But we have extra ones that are aluminum that will add. Just for even extra. And let's see what's in here. Okay, and the last thing. Oh, yes. Well, if we could open them. There we go. Ha-ha! I never thought I'd own a Freightliner because I was always buying newer trucks. And uh, just the after-treatment system on the newer ones. But these 12.7 Detroits, you are in the box. I am in the box. Yes. Um, I'm a Freightliner owner now, so here we go. Got those, and then the hangers, UPS said they were held up in Atlanta, but they're on the way now, so we'll get it. But polishing, mud flaps, yes. Hi. And this was for the neighbors, so we gotta go send that to them. Cool. So yeah, those came, and then these came, T-dubs, just now on a little bag. What are those? And if any of you said T-dubs a cool dress, she had like a random black dress show up that she has no idea. Maybe you bought it, who knows? Guys, the box has seen better days. But it's called red, white, and blue apparel. Nice, little tiny shorts. Okay, cool. All right, let's go try. We're gonna polish a tiny bit of the truck. T Dub's doing laundry, then we're gonna get lunch, but I'm gonna go read up on polishing first, see which compound I use first. I know I use that Scotch Bright material probably. And then uh, get like a little section, little one foot by one foot section, get it done. Hi, Casper. What you doing, buddy? Riding bikes. Okay, let's go get some polishing knowledge. I'm learning right now if you use the red first or the green first. The red or the white? The red or the green. And I stole two of your Ziploc bags, um, the giant ones, because. I know, you texted me and it said. Hair gel. Hair gel, big plastic bag. What are you talking about? I took your Ziploc bags. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'm going to put the polish in them when they're done because it's like really flaky, you know, okay. gets everywhere. All right, enjoy your toast. I'll be back. I'll see you for lunch. Enjoy your toast. Come look at your house. Built a house, huh? Huh. Looks like a pretty good fort there. It used to be a box, now it's a house. I like it. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, you're pretty cool, dude. Yes, you can. All right, you can meet us for lunch? Okay, all right. Take care of mom. These two crazies always want to go. I want it. You want a box? Yeah, okay. of course. All right. Give me the, uh, you need, you got shoes on? You can bring the box. Go get in the minivan. Okay. You're going to wear regular shoes? I have a cat in there. I okay. Cat oh, you have a cat in there? I hope you don't have a real cat in there. Let's roll. <laughs> You're not as tall? Yeah, we do have two trucks. That's the, the workhorse. That's going to be the cement truck. Uh, but I, I think we'll go ahead and take the W9. Uh, I have to take W9 because I got the boys with me. We have one trailer, Kai. It's plenty. So you're to take 
We'll take the W9 because I don't have a seat, any seats for the boys in the other one. So let's jump in the big one. Okay, well, first things first, we need to go ahead and get these uh, cables changed. Like I said, buy the 15 footer. And we have these extra glad hands going on now. So we'll have new ones. Big upgrade from uh, right there. So let's get all this going on and switch it out to that. Much, much better. I should have done that a long time ago. And I will keep this one as a spare, just in case. So now we're gonna try our hand a little bit at this. Uh, my buddy though, Tyrese, yep. says that uh, you yeah, really need to go, that, the, that, that is true. You really need to hit it with 320 and then 600 sandpaper if you want that mirror shine. Uh, oh yeah, so let's turn this into something. We'll just do the top, like a little bit. We're gonna clean it like that not bad i mean it's not a mirror but it sure looks a heck of a lot better so yeah only uh five more to go save that for another day all right thank you dude all right we're done we had we got nice and dirty at the shop of course our shirts are off oh goodness but yeah guys that is night and day shine Gotta get more of those caps too, but whoo, what a difference. Now we got a lot of other stuff to shine up. What'd you get? You got, you got the drone, of course you did. All right, oh. come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Wow, you're all red cheeked, man. Leave the drone Can you get here. that box out of there too? Yeah. Thanks, dude. 11 more wheels to go. That one's one of them. Yeah. So six on this truck. And now we got the drone. And we have the drone. And um, it's not that bad. So what you're gonna wanna do with that kit, there's a red, like Scotch-Brite kind of wheel. Use that first to clean up anything on it. And then um, you're gonna go the red clay, kind of the dark red clay with the orange wheel. And then the Dad, green- there's a drone in there. There's a drone. Then the green wheel with the green, uh, that's the finishing one. So you do the heck guys. Took If I did it all start to finish, I could probably do the other side in about 20 minutes, half an hour maybe, so. Not that bad, but there's a lot of cleaning to do with these ones. I'd probably pressure wash them before I did it, and that would make it a lot easier, but my goodness, it is shining. You like it, Kai? Yes, you, it you is just like, You just like the drone, don't you? But yeah. it is shining. All right, let's go to the lake. Yes, okay, and we head to the lake. We're gonna jump on 85 right here. And I'm at a dilemma, guys. If you look here on the top left, um, the reason I'm not putting anybody in the W900, first of all, I got polished wheels now, so now. <laughs> It's worth at least a million dollars with oh the front, just the front left tire polished. Just the front left tire. Maybe the five other ones are still dull as heck, but hey. No, but for seriously, um, the spot market's so horrible. I don't want someone just running the truck, beating it up for nothing, for not a, a profit. These trucks cost so much money to fix and repair and and polish or whatever else. But um, we're going to get the rest of those five wheels done probably later this week, uh, maybe next weekend. But it's such a good day, it's such a good weekend that um, it's supposed to be 86 tomorrow and sunny, so we're definitely hitting the lake. But and also- And it's Mother's Day. And it's Mother's Day, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Happy Mother's Day to all oh. you wonderful mothers out there. Yes, thank you for making us. My mom, rest in peace, my, my stepmom, and to my real mom, thank you so much for making me uh, back in 1980. Or 1979, I guess. I was gonna say, you were probably made in 1979. But... <laughs> my, 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 brother, my brother was a 79er, but he was a January baby. So a niner in there? Niner. But anyways, the other part of that comment up there was um, this new turbo I have coming. It's called a K31. It's got a waste game. And this guy's saying, if you're not going over 500 horsepower, which I don't really, I'm not gonna, if you wanna blow your motor up sooner than later, go ahead and push it to 600 horsepower. That I guess that 171702 turbo could go up to 1,050 horsepower. I'm not trying to go that crazy. I want reliability. It's the same thing I did when I rebuilt my Volvo. Jerry, uh, my tuner over there, Jerry uh, at Hangai Diesel, H-A-G-G-A-I, said, hey, what do you want for horsepower? And I said, I want reliability and fuel mileage. He said, okay. So he tuned it to 500, and it was 450 stock. So I think we'll tune this one to 500. Um, it's a really light truck. That's all we really need. But So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that turbo a go. Everyone's saying that other turbo is for big horsepower, but I'm not trying to like, blow the doors off everybody. I just want to get fuel economy and and uh, so that comment says you get better low end and better fuel economy and that's what we're going for. We want that torque and that other. So we might give that turbo a try and if it doesn't suffice then 
hey, we, we spent $350 on a turbo instead of $4,000 like an ISX. So yeah, we'll put that turbo on when it gets here. It should be here this week. Polish the rest of the wheels, and yeah, nobody in the W9 just because it doesn't make sense to beat the heck out of it for nothing, for pennies. Like, you can make more money going being a company driver right now than being an owner operator, and uh, it's sad. So, we're released on, we're having a good gig right now, and I uh, appreciate those guys for having that shop also to let me use it, use their knowledge. And my buddy who works there, Tyrese, he, he polishes for his other job, and he said you really want to sand it 320 grit and then 600 grit. And I, I think that it came out pretty dang good with just that uh, scotch bright pad. But uh, if you really wanted like a mirror shine, like a show truck, then yeah, you might want to sand it. But I'm gonna stick with that that uh, scotch bright and do the other five and then do the day cab. That day cab should really come to life with the polished wheels and a bumper. Yeah, it should be looking cool. Plus a red steering wheel, oh my goodness. It looks so good. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to the lake and uh, yeah, happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there tomorrow. We stopped off and got a little bit of food for the evening, and then we're just gonna have a little day tomorrow to test out the boat. Colin keeps asking when we're gonna be at the lake house. We're almost there. And then we'll close out this video and probably watch a pretty sunset because we got some gorgeous clouds in the sky tonight. Right. You guys see the lake anywhere, Cash Case Guy? No, me neither. I wonder where it could be. I wonder where it could be. Where? Oh, there it is. All right. And we made it to our neighbor's other, our other neighbor, neighbor, whatever. Our neighbors back in our main house are also our neighbors at the lake house. They have a really nice lake house. So this thing is awesome. So we're going to stay here tonight because the, I didn't realize it, Clemson University has their uh, graduation right now. So what are you guys drawing? Yeah, I'm drawing. What is color? The whole wow, the whole sidewalk. So yeah, um, they rented it for the graduation, but our neighbor does not rent this house. Give them under tomorrow's mo Mother's Day. Yes, it is. Whoa. Oh. Okay, let's get inside. And my mommy. All right. Got those ones playing, and we got this one playing something else. Yes. What are you playing? Don't put that voodoo on me, Tom Cruise. Help me, Tom Cruise! This is going downhill fast. It I is. think it'd be Yes, indeed. Help us, Tom Cruise. But uh, we're going to have some good barbecue tonight. And um, yeah, just enjoy the weekend. But that is so cool to learn how to polish. Um, it's really easy, guys. It's way easier than I thought it would be. Um, if you buy that kit, about $140. Um, it gives you everything you need. You can do it plenty of times. At least do all your tires and wheels, definitely. Or at least wheels, I mean. <laughs> Not your tires. But, yeah, it's, uh... What's going on, guys? Yeah. Chilling, man. You guys here for the uh, graduation? Yeah. There you go. Congrats if you got anybody graduating. <laughs> we got, so that's why uh, the, the, this house gets rented next door. But, um... Yeah, that's why our house is rented, but they leave tomorrow, so we'll be able to go down there and get back. Probably, we'll actually have to set it back up. I think we have renters next weekend, too, or two weekends from now, so we'll get it all cleaned up and set up. But right now, God bless you guys. Gonna go grab our boat tomorrow, and we will.
on the next one. God bless you guys.